Do you have a score to settle? Now you can settle it at Clarksville's Family Feud. Because it's a party with a purpose. What up, Power Fam? It's your girl, Liana. I'm here with DJ Audio Rock. Today, repping Power 106, we got all this swag and we got lots of gear to give away. Make sure you pull up on us and let us know what you want. You know where we're at. Come and find us. Hey guys, it's Ileana Capion with the Hollywood Junket, and I'm here with Darius LaFleur. Darius LaFleur, what a nice name. Mm, ooh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Our hey guys, I'm Ileana Capion with Hollywood Junket here at the LA season 15 auditions of So You Think You Can Dance. How are you guys feeling today? Feeling Great. good. Feeling good. good. Ready yeah. to go. Yeah. yeah. Is this your first time auditioning? It's my very first time, yes. Oh my goodness. What about you? This is my sixth time. Your sixth time. Okay, so from six to one, do you have any advice for her? What are you guys most looking forward to this season and with going through with auditions? Man, I'm just, I don't know. Honestly, I just want to enjoy every moment. Hey there, it's your girl Ileana Capion and I am reporting live from downtown Los Angeles in front of LA Live. Hey surfers, Ileana here. I know it's probably a little weird to catch me on the green screen, but I felt like it was appropriate considering today we'll be talking all about how your favorite movies are created. Tiempo. Bueno, chavos. ¿Lo cacharon? Bien, porque ahorita volvemos. Tenemos mucho más. Y no olvides darle follow a este concurso, porque eso te dará muchas ventajas. Starting a business can be hard, but for locals here in SoCal, Margarita and Marcos Castilleja, they have started their own local taqueria business and it is booming all through Southern California. We're here with both of them to figure out what's going on and how they started their business and try some of their tasty food. Join us as we go along. You guys are a family owned business. Tell me about how this started. Well, it started with an idea. It's just Margarita came back one day and she had seen something with the, the taco and taco guy and it wasn't what we normally cook at home and that's where she came up with the idea of doing it but doing it right. You can have tacos and golfing all together at the same time. Everything is catered by Margarita's Taqueria and signs are posted around the golf course so once you hit your last birdie you can text in your order and it will be prepared for you to devour when you arrive. What is it that you're making? A bolsa. A bolsa. All the fun that's in a bag. All the goodies. Watch, come over right around. Sorry. Here we see Marcos, one of the CEOs of Margarita Taqueria, creating one of their most unique menu items called the bolsa. Which means? Bag. You put everything in it. Throw it all in the bag. Throw it all in the bag. A lot of hard work and dedication has gone into this family's business. So it's no surprise they are changing up the game when it comes to their menu items. Some of their most unique entrees they offer include their chicken tingas, esquit corn, chicken mole, and even soy and vegetarian options for those that it interests. But of course, I had to get my hands on the bolsa. Most of us have heard about throw it in the bag, but Margarita's Taquerias is bringing a whole new meaning to bolsa. When asked about the Greenway expansion plans, including financial support, community awareness of the project, whether or not they were supporters of the Greenway expansion, community and city hall members expressed their thoughts. Uh, I've heard about expansion plans, but I've not been like extremely knowledgeable about it. All I've known is that they're thinking about expanding the Greenway and how that goes on, I'm not entirely sure of. I would be for it. We need, we need something as long as, you know, it's still you know, totally green because, you know, people can just ride their bikes and stuff like that. You don't have to get in a car, you don't have to get in a motorized vehicle, you, you can ride your bike. So there's, and that's not a major, you know, reduction in fossil fuel consumption, but it, 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 it is a transportation network that's an alternative. Because a lot of people don't like change and people just like to, you know, stay with the old instead of just have new stuff in. And maybe somebody who's against going green and just, you know, makes it regular. Uh, you know, I, I don't think there's any serious opposition. I think some people think, well, let's spend that money on, um, on something else. Uh, but most of this has been built primarily with federal and state funding, uh, probably 10% match from, uh, in most cases, from uh, local taxpayers. I think it probably uh, affect the community in a positive way, uh, give the community of Clarksville a little more uh, area to utilize it in outdoor recreation uh, and definitely because it is a popular spot amongst students and uh, citizens of Clarksville. 
there's a lot of reasons to have these kinds of uh, hiking, biking, and walking trails. And we're close to having that linkage. So we're, uh, we've done a good job over the years. It's taken decades to do, but you know, I think it's something that the community enjoys and that uh, city government is proud of. Perhaps the most mentioned name in sports the past couple of weeks is Colin Kaepernick. The San Francisco 49ers quarterback had received a lot of backlash for refusing to stand during the national anthem. Dessert before dinner is not usually a good idea, but maybe just today the rules can change. A bad bug is going around East Tennessee officials with Knox County Schools saying 500 staffers and 50 bus drivers and plenty of students are sick. Jennifer Webb reports they decided to close the school for the rest of the week. Almost 20 years after the publication of the first Harry Potter book, author J.K. Rowling returned to London at the European premiere of her next magical movie, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. This past week, several women have claimed Trump forcibly touched, kissed, groped, or sexually harassed them in the past. CNN's Randy Kay went to a Trump rally in Florida to see what supporters had to say about it. 